How could you create these animated concentric circles that are clipped by text using canvas? Well, there's a little trick in here. So this is just HTML and it's inspired by this post. So in this little design video, you can see these concentric circles moving through the word. And in the comments, people are guessing that it's maybe a video clipped by a background clip text, which would kind of make sense. Have a have a text element, background clip text, set the background to say a GIF or a video or something, and then that would do the trick, right? But what if you want more control over what you're doing? Here, this is a canvas animation, so I can change all these rings, do what I want, change the speed of them, I don't need to create a new video. So if we inspect this, um, you will see that it is all about them transition so this is a span and then inside this span is a canvas so if i hide that canvas you see it's all gone and then this span has a color transparency on it and there it is so when you um, select the whole block you can copy and paste it as you would anything else but that canvas is doing all the magic so if i bring it back and hide that text and it's responsive too so you can scale it up and down and it will uh, move as you expect. So what does this look like? Well, in our code, uh, as we've just gone through, here's the markup. So we just have a text block. And the trick is that we're lining a canvas up to that block. We're making sure that it lines up and fits nicely with that inline block text. And to keep the font size responsive, we're using clamp. We have a 2rem, 6vw plus 1rem and 12rem there. Um, and then the filter uh, is set on the canvas with a brightness of 2 just to make it pop a little bit. But all the magic really happens in here. So we're using the HTML canvas element and it has the ability to give really performant animations and it, yeah, you can do some pretty magical things with it. But here we're doing, we have one sort of physical canvas that's in the DOM, but the trick is that we're using two um, off-screen canvases. So we have a text canvas, which we render the text to to sort of copy what's in the DOM that's made transparent and then we have this ring canvas where we're animating all the rings on and then we render both of those canvases onto the physical canvas and we clip um, the ring canvas with the text canvas using a global composite operation yeah so let's stick into the code so the trick is get all these canvases create them set all the heights and widths so they all match and then this part here, we take the text. You could grab this from the DOM, but for here, I've just hard coded it. But make sure you have the right font size and it all matches up. And then draw the text or fill the text to that canvas. You don't need to touch it after that. Then we generate some rings. I've gone with a number of 150 here. And each ring is just an object with an ID, a hue, the spread, which is like how much of the arc it fills on the circle. And then its starting angle, which will be zero. Then we have an origin point, which is where all the circles will sprout out from. Um, just gone for some random numbers here. And then here's the trick. So we start with a global composite operation normal. I've just put this in for the sake of showing that it changes. We clear the canvas. So canvas gives you the ability to sort of draw shapes and things. But on every frame, we need to clear it. So we're clearing it here at the start. In actual fact, we don't need to clear it on every frame here. We just need to clear the rings uh, canvas. So then we draw the image of the text canvas. So you're drawing the text onto the physical canvas. And then the next part comes, which is where you use this global composite operation source in. But before we do any of that, let's get rid of this and just show you it um, without doing any of the rings. So without any of the rings, this is drawn with canvas. This is our text. And you wouldn't really know unless you went and inspected it. So that is the canvas right there. So if we just hide it, you will see no text. Cool, right? But if we go back and then draw this on, this is where the magic happens. Inside every frame, and we're using green sock because it's easier to do canvas things with, I find personally. We're using green sock and we're using the ticker, which basically says every frame do whatever function I pass to it and you can control it with this FPS function. So we're saying 24 frames per second, if possible, do draw. Inside draw, 
we update this ring canvas and the ring canvas is where all the rings are and that gets updated on every frame and then drawn onto the main canvas but the trick is the global composite operation up here so without it all the rings are just drawn onto the canvas and the text gets lost right which is fine it looks great but we don't have any text which isn't great the trick is this line here context.global composite operation source in which kind of acts like an intersection um, the text is there and then whatever gets drawn onto the canvas will only go where the text images and everything else will be transparent and then for every um, frame these rings are getting updated so the angle gets updated with GSAP it's an infinite animation with linear easing and it consistently goes round and the canvases get clipped and each render is just getting rendered onto that physical canvas and that's how the trick works so if I save that there we go and then you can scale it up and it works exactly as you expect extra little piece here if you wanted to you could make the origin of the circle update with a point and move um, here I'm just taking the X and Y of a point and move and getting the bounds of the canvas and then offsetting that with GSAP's clamp utilities to say the origin X and Y which we had up here will get passed in when each ring gets rendered each ring is rendered with um, the arc function of canvas but that is the trick so if we went back in you can see now that it updates as we move around which is kind of cool um, not necessary um, each to their own it's a subjective thing <laughs> I kind of prefer it without and it just running but yeah that's how you do concentric animated circles clip to text and uh, yeah I hope that helps let me know what you think stay awesome